Hi there, I'm Caroline Whitmore. I was born and bred in Oldham over <clears throat> 30 years ago now. I still live in Oldham to this day and I know all about FCHO but today I'm here to find out a lot more about First Choice Homes, what they've been up to since stock transfer and who they are today. Now most of you will probably be aware of the promises that were made and committed to at stock transfer but you'll be pleased to hear that all those that they said they do within the first 100 days have been done. But what you might not be aware of is that First Choice Homes have got a brand new mission statement and values. You've probably seen them around the offices, on posters, on paperwork and on the internet. But what I do know is that you're going to see a lot more of them moving forward. Done as we speak, aren't you, John? Yeah, I'm having a new kitchen put in, rewire. As you can see at the moment, so we're actually partially the way through at the moment. Yeah, so, so this is your brand new kitchen that's been done at the moment. You say you're having a rewire. Yeah, and new, all new electrics, all these are new electric sockets, just waiting for a fan to go in at the top corner. New electrical lighting, we've had right. a heat detector put in over in the corner. All new sockets here. Great, this is brilliant, isn't it? It's lovely. Brand new kitchen, what more do you want? That's right. And the best bit is, is the drawers. They don't even bang when you shoot them. Look at that. Look at that. The drawers just shut know, on their brilliant. own. I mean, I know it's a bit of a pain with the dust and everything, but once this is all finished, how is that going to change your day-to-day -day life? Put it this way, it's one of these places I won't want to cook in here or make it dirty <laughs> yeah. because it's, it's just too nice. It's just too nice, I just want to keep it clean everywhere. Well, I can't see a kettle. Can you make me a brew anywhere else? It's in the living room, unfortunately, on, the kettle. Give me a brew then. <laughs> Okay, I'm now going to chat to some of the operatives from FCHO. Matt, Kyle, what is your role within the company? Well, I'm an electrician. Uh, basically, I work for DPA, which is Disabled Persons Adaptions. Um, and we go into disabled people's homes and uh, any adaptions that they need doing, we fulfil them, basically. Right, and Kyle, what about you? Yeah, What's your role? I'm a joiner and I work for the uh, contracts team. We do uh, quite big refurbs. So, Kyle, your job is all about improving people's homes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, like I say, Matt's more working with the tenants. We're more on the contracts team, but we still get the same satisfaction because we both, you know, we work to high standards and we've come through first choice homes. We started as apprentices and we've worked up to where we are today. How long have you both worked at first choice homes? Um, I've, I've worked here for nearly five years now. I think Kyle started a year before me. Um, but like, like Kyle says, we both started as apprentices um, and we have both worked our way up to where we are now. And yeah. Well, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Kyle. Now we've heard about all the good work the operatives do, let's take a look at some of the other services SCHO provide. Okay, so I'm now here with Audrey, one of our customers. Audrey, what experience have you had of SCHO? Well, the experience started two years ago um, when I became redundant at work. I wasn't used to um, getting benefits and things like that. Um, I was also um, ill at the time. So I wasn't able to cope with all the things that come at you when you, you're out of work. Um, what happened was that I, I, I thought I was going to go into rent and and the rank third choice home. And I was in a bit of a state because, uh, like I say, I was um, and I wasn't coping. Yeah, I bet you were. Um, what was so their reaction then? They were brilliant on the phone. They said, don't worry, we'll send somebody out to you. And I think it was the day after, uh, Suzanne Fields came out to me. And I've been there ever since, really. And um, were you quite surprised with the speed at which FCHO responded? I, was, I mean, the day after, that's unbelievable. I was very surprised. I, I thought they might have been quick in throwing me out of my house. <laughs> Go on. That's why I, <laughs> why I panicked, you know. But um, The opposite, the, though? It was quite the opposite. And everything that they do is really to, to help you to stay in your home yeah. and to keep independent. I think it says something for uh, Fair Choice Home because that's two, two workers that I've been closely involved with and both have been exactly the same. They, they put the client first, they don't make you feel as though you're a problem um, and they thought it like that. Yeah. 
Okay, so we've just met Audrey who was very complimentary about the supported services. So now let's meet one of the support workers, Margaret Clark. And what do you love about your job? Uh, job satisfaction, I think, giving, giving a good service and knowing that you've made a difference to somebody's life. And can you give us an example of a particular incident where you've come away and you thought, you know what, I feel really proud of the job I've done today? Um, I've just had a lady in particular who I knew, she, well, I was pretty certain she'd be in, entitled to attendance allowance. She really didn't want me to claim because she thought it was begging or charity. Okay, yeah. I eventually managed to persuade her because she was really struggling for money. She's now £120 a week better off. Because of you? Because of me doing my job. Yeah. That sort of thing, it does make you feel satisfied at the end of the day. Because FCHO has got um, you know, five specific values, but obviously their main mission is to improve you know, people's lives and, and the way they live and, yes, and their homes. Yes. Do you think they do that? Do you I do, do that? yeah. I think, I think we're, we're getting there now. And um, through huge changes, we've, we've endeavoured to keep providing that service. I think the communication between departments has improved because that used to be pretty poor at one time. Yeah. And we've got a good management team in place. Yeah. And how do you find them as a company and how, how has your job uh, changed over the years? Um, it's, it's changed quite, quite a lot over the years. We've had quite a lot of reorganisation. We started off as a, really, it was more of a friendly, keep your eye on your neighbour type service. Now it, it's a lot more professional. Well, Jen, Wayne, you both work out and about in the neighbourhoods, don't you? Tell us your exact role. Well, I'm a neighbourhood officer and... I'm a customer involvement officer. So I'm about engaging with customers, uh, getting them involved in all the decisions that we make as a company, uh, finding out what kind of projects that they want to do and finding the best way to do that and deliver it and then attending things like tenants' meetings. And how important do you find in your role their feedback? Oh, it's massive because the companies wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the tenants, so that they have to have the main same things that we do. Yeah, and what about your role then, Jen? You're the neighbourhood officer, aren't you? Yeah, I'm very much on, on the ground all the time in the neighbourhoods. I do things like annual visits, um, walkabouts, environmental projects. I work very much with the customer involvement to, to involve customers, and I'm really their first point of call. If they need anything like a new fence or something like that, they would come to me. Jen, your area has just gained its level one, hasn't it? Yeah, one of my areas has just got level one NQS, which is the Neighbourhood Quality Standard. Uh, basically, we send out a survey and we try and get their honest opinions of what's going on in their neighbourhoods. Because we're not there all the time, uh, we really value what they think. And this NQS is quite a new and innovative scheme, really, isn't it? It's a new project that's been rolled out in all of the neighbourhood teams. I mean, most have done their level one now, haven't they? I'm just working on a, another level one from another one of my areas. So it's working with neighbourhoods and customer involvement yep. to tackle it. I mean, customer involvement have a big role in it as well. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say what you were saying before is quite innovative <coughs> as well. Well, isn't it's it? okay getting all the information from, from the tenants and then just going away and do what we want. But that's not what it's about. It's about going back, chatting to them and saying, these are what we found. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree with that? How would you tackle it? Let them make the decision yeah. and then we act upon that. Yeah, definitely. Well, I've heard some great stories, met some brilliant characters. I'm now off to meet Harry Burns, Chair of the Board, and Kath Green, Chief Executive, to find out their thoughts about First Choice Homes. If you could give a message to your colleagues and customers of FCHO, what would that message be? The message would be <coughs> to be patient, because when you start talking about putting new bathrooms and new tiles, you know, new wiring and, and new kitchens, uh, you know, we've all got we've all got to wait our time. Even I, as a chairman, will have to wait my time. And so we've got to be patient. But to be honest, we will get there in the end. There's no doubt about that. We will deliver what we said we'd deliver. I'm committed to that. And what do you, if you could sum up how you feel about working for FCHO? How does it make you feel working for the company? It's my life. Yeah, it's, I, I I set off. About ten years ago, 
and I went through a process of where we had a shadow, a shadow board and then we had <coughs> an Elmo board and during that period of time I always felt it would be nice if we could be first choice homes where we could do things on our own without being dependent on anything, yeah. or the council or anything and that. I wanted to, to achieve that we could do it on our own and, and that's my that's my pledge, we will do it, you know, next way on. OK, everybody, this is the big one. I've managed to blag myself an interview with the Billy Big Time Chief Executive, Kath Green. How are you doing, Kath? I'm really well, thank you. Are you How good? are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Yeah, learning all about First Choice Homes. Good. How do you think things have changed in, since stock transfer? It's been great since the 7th of February, uh, since the stock transfer was completed. I think the energy in the organisation is yeah. amazing. I think customers trying to get involved is really good and passionate. And you really do feel that old and pride coming through quite a lot of the things that we're doing. Because I think what I noticed from my little jaunt around Oldham and talking to customers and colleagues of FCHO was that, well, the colleagues especially, they were saying that the one-to-one -one sessions that you've offered have been really beneficial. And I think for someone like yourself, you know, you hear chief exec and it's almost like, oh, can't speak to them. But you seem to have that kind of approachable attitude. Is that important? Well, it's very important to me. And my sort of route through my career, I wasn't sort of parachuted in as a graduate. Right, yeah. I've come up through through the front line, right the way through up the, through the services. And I know how important it is for staff to feel listened to at different levels. So I'm trying to kind of walk the talk. Yeah. you know and make sure we deliver what, what we said we were going to deliver so it is really important for me you know and, and it's nice that people recognize that you've been through those same sort of systems studying you know exams yeah. all of that see she Interviews. is human then you are human <laughs> i try <laughs> <laughs> i mean what where do you think first choice homes can go from here then what in, more improvements can you make do you think well there's loads of improvements we can make i want my staff to be out on the estates to be known point of contact for our customers so they know the face of first choice homes and we're not this like business who just like operate in offices yeah you know we want to be out there to be seen on the estates listening to people and delivering things right first time how do you feel about working for FCHO? I feel very proud to be working for first choice homes and I, I get overwhelmed with the staff comments around how proud they feel um, it is just so, so, so fantastic for a manager to hear that but we can't be complacent can we and we've no. got to kind of strive and carry on and keep listening keep doing and keep responding to things to make the place a better place to work a successful business but delivering first-class services always striving to do better you're making me want to work for First Choice Hopes, Kath. Never mind Granada Reports. Well, you'll have Top to apply boss. like the rest of them, but, you know, we're always happy. <laughs> I'll, be in, I'll be in the offices next week. <laughs> well, lovely to meet you and carry on striving to do better, but it sounds like you're doing fab already. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, this walk across town has been a real insight into who FCHO are today and it's reflected in the work that they do. They really want to make a difference and take great pride at being at the heart of Oldham. First Choice Homes are working hard to deliver their mission and promises and live their values and by doing this they will be first for you.